fans, not fans, just general audience, come in and watch a performance, they are not only watching a performance, and it's your job to try to get them to forget all the other work that they've seen and just go into that character and that place. But I do think that's, that, I think that when you're just, when I go and I see a play and there's an actor or an actress on stage, I have no idea who they are. Sometimes the understudy goes on and gives a phenomenal performance and you go, what a great actor. You know nothing about them. You just know that performance. And I think sometimes there's, I mean, I, look, I, I come from a school of thought that there's way too much infotainment and way too much information about people and just way too much blather on about celebrity. And, and, I, and I, I actually used to think the word celebrity meant you celebrated someone's work. I don't think it means that anymore. Um, I, I, find it, I, I find it so great when there's <laughs> that anonymity. And when you can actually, I, I'll tell you when I feel the most satisfied is when people refer to the characters that I've played as three-dimensional. When they talk about the character mm -hmm. and use the character's name rather than mine, then I go, well, maybe I got close to doing my job that time because that character came through. We do really love not knowing too much about the actors. I really want to believe that they are who they are. But I, I, I love that uh, um, outline of, of an act from Brecht, the, 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 the three responsibilities of an actor. He says that um, one is to, uh, and I'm, I'm going to misquote this, uh, one is to, you're responsible to play the role you've been contracted to play. And these, th these three things you're supposed to be at all times on stage. One is to play the role you've been contracted to play. Two is to be, uh, to, to be an actor playing the role that you've been contracted to play. And three is to be a member of a socio-political society who happens to be an actor who happens to be playing a role. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. And part of why I love theater so much, uh, apart from film, and I, I love them both, but particularly in film, is that there is, for me, no suspension of disbelief. I am an actor. You know who I am. Does that make what I'm saying any less vital or any less important? And can I find a way to accept that relationship and work through it as an actor? That, that's, that's, my, that's my goal in terms of technique, is how do I use that thing that you think to open you? And, um, and I... I, I, I uh, I really, I really love that. I mean, I really love that element of it. And it, it, it gets annoying, I think, when you are, you know, a real big movie star that there's a certain level of people who aren't really even interested in the play. That's the problem, that they're not there to see the play. They're there to see their image of you as the movie star. And I think that that probably... But there's an upside to, to that, Moore. too, I think. There's an, yeah. And the upside for me is that... Exposing them to something new. Yeah, right? because, look, mm -hmm. I, I, I often say, I don't care why they buy tickets. You know, if somebody who's 15 or 16 years old wants to buy tickets because they saw me do Superman right. or they saw you do it in a film, fine. Our job is to give them an experience in the theater on that day right. that they won't ever forget. And maybe the next time someone invites them to a play, they won't make a face.